Bananas in pyjamas are coming down the stairs. Bananas in pyjamas are coming down in pairs. Bananas in pyjamas are chasing teddy bears. Cause on Tuesdays they will try to catch them on the way. day for a walk, B1. A very fine day for a walk, B2. Oh, cheese and whiskers. Oh, there's so much mail to deliver. I'll never finish it. Look out, Rat. Oh! Oh! It's OK, Rat. We'll help you. Oh! Oh! Dear, oh dear. Just look at this mess. Don't worry, Rat. We'll help clean it up. Oh, woe is me. What's wrong, Rat? Oh, there's so much to do, Bananas. How am I ever going to deliver all this mail on time? Hmm. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. It's Rat's car time! It is? You can use your car to deliver the mail. Of course I can! What a splendid idea! Oh, I'm so clever to think of it. Let's load up the car! Oh, thank you, Bananas. Uh, stand back now. Are you sure you can see where you're going? Uh, maybe you should deliver the mail in two trips. Uh, two trips? I'm far too busy for that. Uh, bye, Bananas! Will Rat be all right, B1? Maybe we'd better follow him, just to be sure, B2. It's OK, Rat. We'll get your car out of the ditch. You should look where you're going, Rat. You nearly ran us over. You really should be more careful. Me? But this was all your fault. What? I can't deliver the mail if you all keep crossing the road willy-nilly in front of me. But, Rat... It's time Cuddlestown had some proper road rules. Road rules? Correct. And the sooner the better. Right, Bananas, it's time for action. Follow me. What are the brushes and paint for, Rat? Cuddles Town is about to get a proper crossing. What's that, Rat? Well, the place where everyone must cross the road. The only place they cross the road. The only place? Exactly. And you're the ones to do this important job, Bananas. So, let's get to work. Right, Rat. Now, Bananas, I want you to paint some stripes. What sort of stripes, Rat? Um, like the stripes on your pyjamas. Mm, if you say so, Rat. Come on, B1, let's paint our stripes. Stop! You don't paint each other. We don't? No, you paint the stripes on the road. Oh. oh. That's a much better idea. One stripe. Two stripes. Very good, Bananas. Now paint two more. One more stripe. Two more stripes. Perfect. Now everyone will know where to cross the road. But how will they know when to cross? That's where you come in, Bananas. You will be our very own Cuddlestown Traffic Monitors. Traffic Monitors? It will be your job to tell everyone when it's safe to cross the road. But we don't know anything about being Traffic Monitors. Oh, it's very easy, Bananas. 
Now off you go to Charlie's. He's made some lovely signs for you to carry and he'll show you how to use them. Yes, Rat. Congratulations on your new job, Bananas. Being traffic monitors is a very important position. Thanks, Charlie, but we don't really know what to do. It's easy, Bananas. You just hold up the signs. Red means stop and green means go. Red means stop and green means go. <laughs> Excellent. And to show everyone who you are, here are your new traffic monitor caps. Banana-tastic! Come on, B1! Traffic crossing, here we come! Hup, 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 hup. We'd better hurry, Traffic Monitor 1. Rat will be delivering the mail soon. Look, there are the teddies. And they're trying to cross the road themselves. Stop! Why do we have to stop, Bananas? Because we're the Traffic Monitors. You can only cross when we hold up our signs. Red means stop and green means go. And we're holding up our red signs, see? If you say so, Bananas. But how long do we have to stop here? Just till after Rat comes past in his car. Ah, oh, that's good, because here he comes now. Morning, Rat. Hello, B1. Uh, what seems to be the problem? Problem? I don't see a problem. Then why have you stopped us all? Have we? That's right. We're waiting for Rat. And Rat's waiting for us. Oh, no, B2. Our traffic signs must be broken. Oh, you funny bananas. They're not broken. They're not? No. We stopped because you're showing us a red sign. And I've stopped because you're showing me a red sign too. <laughs> Turn our signs around, B1. <laughs> That's better. Thanks, bananas. Whiskers. Well, my car won't stop. <laughs> Help! Oh, someone! Hurry, traffic monitor one. We have to help Rat stop his car. Hurry, bananas. He's heading for our house. Look out! Or oh, stand clear. Out of my way. Huh? Rat! <laughs> Sorry, Morgan. Morgan, we need your help. Which way did Rat go? Towards Camembert's barn. Thanks. Let's get after him, Traffic Monitor 2. Right, Traffic Monitor 1. <laughs> Morning, Rat. Do you have any mail? Out of the way, Cameron Bear. Can't stop. Oh! Oh, honestly, Rat and his car are becoming a serious menace. Cameron Bear. <laughs> Which way did Rat go? He's heading for Pedro's pen. Thanks! <laughs> Pedro, look out! <laughs> dear, oh dear. Uh, Pedro, tell Charlie to bring the tractor so he can pull my car out of the mud. On my way, rat. <laughs> At last! Ah, oh, it stopped! Oh, Bananas, how wonderful that you're here! Is it? Obviously, with my car stuck in this mud, I can't deliver the mail. So you'll have to do it for me. But we can't! We have to be traffic monitors at the crossing. Nonsense! You only need to do that if there's a car coming. And seeing as the only car in Cuddlestown is stuck here in the mud, you're free to visit everyone's letterbox. Do we have to? Of course, Bananas. Remember, the mail must always get through. Oh. We did it, Rat. <laughs> we delivered all the mail. Excellent. Oh. Well, my new crossing has been such a success. I'm going to deliver the mail by car every day. You will? Congratulations, Bananas. It looks like you both have full-time jobs as traffic monitors. Oh. I think I need a rest, Traffic Monitor 1. I definitely need a rest, Traffic Monitor 2. Oh. Oh. You poor bananas. 
feel worn out from chasing Rat's car all over Cuddlestown. And delivering the mail as well. And now we have to be traffic monitors too. Why do we need a crossing on Cuddlestown Avenue anyway? Because we never know when Rat's car will come along. What a pity he couldn't warn us somehow. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. It's a new horn for Rat's car time! <laughs> now everyone will know when you're coming. And that's not all, Rat. Look! Now you can put all your mail in this special trailer. And that means you can always drive safely. But what about the traffic monitor bananas? With my new trailer and tooting horn, they'll be out of a job. Actually, we love not being traffic monitors. Really? Well, in that case, I'll be off. The mail waits for no rat. <laughs> Sounds like music, B2. Yeah, it's got a beat to make you move your feet. Hop, 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 hop. And move your arms too, like this. Woo, woo. Spin it around, B1. I'm spinning, B2. Oof. <laughs> Pajama-tastic. I wonder where that music's coming from. It sounds like... The, the Teddy's, Teddy's house. house! After you, B2. After you, B1. Thank, Thank you! you. <laughs> After you again, B2. Right, B1. Look, it's Morgan! Great music, Morgan! I don't think he can hear it, B1. That's because he's got his headphones on, B2. I'm a teddy bear DJ, that's my game. DJ Morgan, that's my name. Hello, Morgan! <laughs> Sorry, Morgan. What are you doing? I'm the DJ at Camembert's birthday party. Bananarific! Uh, what exactly is a DJ, Morgan? It means I play the music and bust some moves. Wow! And I'm going to do my DJ teddy bear rap sound and light show spectacular. I'll show you. First I turn on the DJ microphone. Then all the extra speakers. And finally my awesome light show spectacular. Ah, I don't understand what's happening. Hang on. Uh-oh. Now, to mix our cake for Camembert's birthday. Huh? That's weird. The mixer worked fine before. Perfect. These fairy lights will really brighten up my party. Oh. Well, I never... Oh, cheese-flavoured ice creams. Just the thing for Camembert's birthday. Oh, cheese and whiskers. My freezer stopped working. Charlie! What do you mean there's no power? What? No electricity anywhere? Please, everyone, the good news is that I've worked out what's gone wrong. Splendid! But what's the bad news, Charlie? <laughs> the bad news is that Morgan had too many things turned on and the Cuddlestown power station is broken. Oh! But the very good news is that I know how to fix it. Marvellous. Hopefully there's no other very bad news, Charlie. Unfortunately, there is, Lulu. What is it? The very bad news is that it will take me many hours. Oh. <laughs> but what about my party? I need power for the party lights. And we need power to bake the birthday cake. Oh, this is all my fault. I'm really sorry, everyone. Don't worry, Morgan. The whole night will be ruined for everyone. Never fear. Charlie is here. If anyone can fix it, he can. There's absolutely nothing to worry about. Oh, except the ice creams. Ice creams? If we don't have power, the freezer won't stay cold. And you know what that means? What? Well, the ice creams are going to melt. 
melted ice cream? Emergency! Emergency! <laughs> we need a plan to keep them cold. Now think, bananas. Think. <laughs> <laughs> Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. We need ice. It's, it's let's visit, visit Charlie, Charlie time. You're in luck, Bananas. You got the last two bags of ice in the cold room. <laughs> Thanks, Charlie. The, this ice is certainly cold. Da, 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 very cold. Let's, let's get them back to Rat. <laughs> Excellent. This will keep the ice creams perfectly frozen. Top job, bananas. For cheese and whiskers. Morgan! Quick, Rat. Let's get him in the sun so he can warm up. Now let's get B1. Uh, couldn't we uh, oh, have a little rest for a minute? Later, Rat. Come on. Oh, honestly, the things I do for those bananas. Are you carrying him, Rat? Oh, you can rely on me, Morgan. Me too. Are you all right? Have you warmed up yet? Back to normal, Morgan. Now I know what a snowman feels like. Phew, that ice was cold. Is the power back on yet? No, Charlie's still working on it. And Amy and Lulu still need to make a cake for the party. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go and help. Charlie doesn't get the power fixed soon, we'll never get this cake cooked in time. Amy, Lulu, we're here to help. Thanks, Bananas, but if there's no power, then the oven doesn't work. And if the oven doesn't work, then we can't cook the cake. So there'll be nothing to eat at Camembert's party. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. It's fruit salad time. Fruit salad. With plums and pears. And apples and oranges. What a great idea, Bananas. Let's start picking. We are the teddies and the bananas. We're always ready. Pajama roll. We are the teddies and the bananas. We're always ready. Pajama roll. We are the teddies and the bananas. Look at all this fantastic fruit. Thanks, Bananas. Our pleasure. A birthday fruit salad. What could be better? It's not a fruit salad yet. We have to make it now. Then let's get cracking. We should go and see Camembert, B2. And see if she needs any help. <sighs> Happy birthday, Camembert. Ready to have a great party? I don't think so, Bananas. What's wrong? We've got your party ice creams all frozen in Rat's freezer. <laughs> And we've picked all the fruit for your special birthday fruit salad. Yum! So, what's the problem? I don't want to seem ungrateful, Bananas, but there's still one thing missing. What's that? With no power, my party lights won't work. It's going to be a very, very dull party without decorations. Decorations? Lights! Colour? I know. We could cut up some coloured paper and make streamers. And we can do some coloured paintings for the walls. Let's go! Leave it to us, Camembert. It's no good, Bananas. Why not, Camembert? If we don't have any lights, no one will be able to see the streamers or paintings anyway. You'll just be wasting your time. Oh. But thanks for the thought, Bananas. It's very kind of you. Did you see that, B2? See what, B1? That! I do see it, B1! Look, Cabin Bear! The coloured lights! <laughs> That's because the power's back on! You mean you fixed it? What a clever Charlie you are! That means everything will be ready to go! Just in time for the party! Banana Ripic! <laughs> Marvellous party, Cabin Bear! Fabulous ice creams, Rat! Oh, I had to work so hard to keep them cold, you know. But, as always, I rose to the challenge. Ahem. Oh, uh, <coughs> with the banana's help, of course. And now we got power, it's time to play some music with me, DJ Morgan. Oh, I can't wait. Everybody, get ready to dance. But remember what happened last time, Morgan. Don't have too many things turned on at once. Don't worry, I won't make that mistake again. Stand by, everyone, for the birthday wrap. 
We'll help DJ Morgan. We'll get everything ready for you. Thanks, Bananas. Uh, everything? First, we'll turn on Morgan's microphone. Then his t t turntable and all the speakers. And finally, his light show spectacular. No, Bananas, not all at once. Oh, no, not again. Oh. Oops. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> I can fix it, but it will take a while. Oh, no, there's no power to play the music. How can I do my birthday rap without it? Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. It's making music time. Let's all grab some things we can use to make music. Like sticks to tap together. Or tins we can play. Like drums. Or anything that shakes and rattles. Ready? One, two, three, four. Okay, Morgan, take it away. I'm DJ Morgan, hip hip hooray. And I'll spin my discs on your birthday. So happy birthday, Cam and Bear, from DJ Morgan, the DJ Bear. Hooray! We're the Bananas and we agree that parties are fun for our whole family! Yay! B1? Mm. Uh. I have a pyjama-tastic feeling about today. I have the same feeling too. It's going to be a wonderful day. A very wonderful day. <laughs> it's a windy day, B2. But a wonderful windy day, B1. Who shall we go and see, B2? Why not our friend Bernard? Bernard? Why Bernard? Because we can see him right now. Uh, bananas! <laughs> can you grab my hat, please? We'll get it, Bernard. Leave it to us. This is a tricky hat, B2. Very tricky, B1. I'll come from that way. And I'll come from that way. Now! Got it! <sighs> Good work, Bananas. Well done. Our pleasure, Bernard. Always happy to help a friend. Oops! Uh, no matter, Bananas, I'll uh, get it back into shape. <laughs> More or less. We're sorry, Bernard. We hate to upset you on such a wonderful day. Wonderful? Today? I think not. Oh? oh? Why isn't it wonderful, Bernard? I've been doing my best to bird watch, but all the birds have flown away because of this confounded wind. But... I'm a Parkington, and Parkingtons never give up. Cheerio, Bananas! Good luck, Bernard! We hope you find some birds to watch. Bernard isn't having a wonderful day at all. Maybe it'll turn wonderful later. Help! Someone needs help! help! Rat needs help. We're, We're coming, coming, Rat! Huh? 
What's going on, Rat? The door! Close the door, Bananas! The, the door! door. <laughs> Are you all right, Rat? Oh, no! Are you hurt? I've bent a whisker. Oh, what a day! A terrible day! A terrible day? An awful day! An awful day? First, I get sent these umbrellas by mistake. What am I to do with them? Who wants umbrellas on a windy day? And just look at this mess! And now, I've got a bent whisker. We'll help you clean up, Rat. Oh, you will? Oh, that's good of you, Bananas. Then maybe the day won't be so terrible. It might even get to be... A wonderful day! A wonderful day? Never! <sighs> ah! Bernard isn't having a wonderful day. Rat isn't having a wonderful day. Is anyone having a wonderful day? I'm trying. It's going everywhere. The teddies. Do they need help? Can somebody help? I think they do need help. We're coming. We're here, teddies. We'll help you. Leave. Catch our washing bananas. The wind is blowing it all over the place. We've lost them. Grab some others. There. I see it. Sheet is fun, B2. Flying is fun, but what about the landing? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> the landing was fun too. And what a great swing! Whee! Bananas, are you okay? We're okay. Not a scratch. This wind! It won't stop. Oh no! Look out! Our washing! This might not be a good time to ask. But are you teddies having a wonderful day? No! Fair enough. I didn't think so. No one's having a wonderful day, B1. And if none of our friends are having a wonderful day, how can we have a wonderful day? Everyone is having troubles. All because of the wind. If only their troubles could fly away on the wind, B2. Then we might all have a wonderful day. Wind? Fly? Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. It's, it's let's make something wonderful time. have to wash them all over again. How can we? We can't hang them up in all this wind. Hello, teddies. We've got a surprise. We know you'll love it. But we need to borrow that sheet. This sheet? That's the one. Thanks, teddies. What do you need it for, Bananas? That's the surprise. Be at our house in one hour. And you'll find out all about it. <laughs> This whisker, it's all your fault. Oh, yes, it is. I'm putting you away and you'll never come out. Bad umbrellas. Rat! Rat. Bananas? 
We don't want to come in and let the wind in again. So can you hand us out the umbrellas? All of them? All of them. If you want them, you can have them. Ready? Thank you, Rat. Why do you want them, Bananas? Come to our home at two o'clock and you'll find out why. Oh, oh, oh blast! No sensible bird is out in this weather, so what am I doing out here? Bird! Bananas! What are you doing in this awful wind? We needed to see you. So we can borrow your hat. My hat? Could we have it? You may, but whatever for? Be at our home at two. And you'll see what for. That's everything we need, B1. Now we have to make it, B2. Then make it, we will. Ah, uh, Tiddies. Are you here for the banana surprise? We are, Bernard. What could it be? We're about to find out. Bananas! We're all here! Come on in! The surprise is ready. Everyone's had a terrible time today. All because of the wind. So how can we turn a terrible day into a wonderful day? Even though it's very windy. Oh! <laughs> oh. oh right. That's terrific! <laughs> Quite a surprise. But will it fly? Um, we're not very sure. To be honest, we have no idea. <laughs> we can easily find out. Let's try it. Ready, Ready to, to launch, launch kite. kite? Let's get some speed up. On my command, forward. Letting go now. What do you think, everyone? Is this good or is this good? Marvellous! Great! Brilliant! Very cheesy! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> it's a wonderful day, Bananas! You don't have to tell us, Amy. We already knew it. <laughs> <laughs> So what are we going to do today, B1? I know what we should do first, B2. What's that, B1? Have breakfast. Good thinking, B1. <laughs> Let's see what's in the fridge, B2. That's funny, B1. Half of that yummy fruit salad we made yesterday is missing. It can't be, B2. We haven't eaten any yet. We haven't, B1, but somebody has. Look! Someone must have eaten our fruit salad in the night, B2. But who? It's a mystery. A mysterious mystery. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. It's, it's Detective, Detective Bananas time! Now let's look for clues. Ow! Sorry, Detective B1. Uh, no problem, Detective B2. I think I found a clue. Look! Hmm, muddy footprints, Detective B2. And they lead right to the fridge, Detective B1. Which means they were made by... The, the Fruit Salad, salad Snitcher! Let's follow the footprints, Detective B1. Right, Detective B2. Hello, Bananas! So, why are you in your detective gear, Bananas? We've got a mystery to solve, Lulu. Someone ate our fruit salad. While we were asleep. But who would do such a thing? The Fruit Salad Snitcher! Uh, Bananas, 
Do you mind if I eat the rest of the fruit salad? No, Morgan. The bananas need the rest to catch the snitcher. Do we? Why, Lulu? Because if the snitcher ate half the fruit salad last night, he might come back for more tonight. You're right, Lulu. And if he does... The Detective Bananas will be waiting for him! Uh. Ah. Detective B1, wake up! It's the fruit salad snitcher! That's no snitcher, Detective B2! That's, That's Morgan! He looks a bit strange, Detective B2. Let's go and talk to him. Hello? Morgan? What did he say? It sounded like... What does... mean? I think it means he's asleep. Asleep? I've heard about this, Detective B1. It's called, um, sleepwalking. <laughs> It looks like Morgan is also sleep eating. You know what this means, Detective B1? Morgan is the fruit salad snitcher. What should we do, Detective B2? I don't know, Detective B1. We'd better ask the teddies in the morning. You think I ate your fruit salad? You were asleep. Asleep? He was sleepwalking. That's impossible! We saw you! Well, that does explain why there were muddy footprints on our floor this morning. <gasps> See? They match the footprints in our house. Exactly, Detective B2. I'm sorry, Bananas. It's not your fault, Morgan. Well, if I do it again, just wake me up. No, Bananas, don't! It says here you should never wake a sleepwalker. Why not, Lulu? Because they can get a bad fright. Then how do we stop him? Yes, how? <gasps> I know, Bananas. Why don't you just lock your front door? Then Morgan won't be able to get in. Great idea, Lulu. That'll definitely solve the problem. There's someone at the door, B1. Uh, I'll get it, B2. Wait, B1, stop! <gasps> we can't open the door. Why not? Because it must be Morgan, sleepwalking again. He's going away, Detective B1. Then it worked, Detective B2. Let's have some fruit salad to celebrate. That climbing in the window. Oh no, it's Morgan. Oh. He really likes our fruit salad, Detective B1. He certainly does, Detective B2. I ate your fruit salad again. You did. But how could he get in if the door was locked, Bananas? He climbed in through the window. Oh dear. Dear, well, if that didn't stop him, what else can we try? I've got an idea, Bananas. Seven, eight, nine. How many more do I have to do, Amy? As many as you can, Morgan. Oh. Amy, I still don't understand how all this exercise will stop Morgan sleepwalking. <laughs> Bananas. If we wear Morgan out, he'll sleep so deeply he won't have any energy to sleepwalk. Oh, that is good thinking, Amy. Very good thinking. Oh. <sighs> Wake up, Detective B1. What is it, Detective B2? Morgan's back again. Look. Oh, no. What's he doing, Detective B2? Poor 
Morgan. All that exercise has made him so tired. He can't even sleepwalk without taking a nap. Where's he going now, Detective B1? I don't think he knows Detective B2. We'd better stay close, Detective B1. There's no telling what he might run into. Quick, he's going to hit the chair. Oof! Now he's heading for the table. <laughs> he's got the fruit salad out, Detective B1. But does he have the energy to eat it, Detective B2? to try bananas. Neither do we, Teddies. Looks like we'll just have to stop making fruit salad. Our favourite breakfast. Oh. Wait a minute, bananas. I think I've got an idea. What is it, Morgan? Well, what if I didn't have to sleepwalk to get the fruit salad? What if the fruit salad came to me instead? Uh, how could the fruit salad do that? It doesn't have any legs, does it? No, I mean, what if the fruit salad was where I could get it without having to sleepwalk? Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. It's fruit salad at Teddy's time! There you go, Morgan. A nice fresh bowl of fruit salad, right by your bed. So now if you get hungry in the night, you won't have to walk anywhere. I'm sure this will work. So are we, Morgan. Good night, bananas. Good, Good night, night, Morgan. Well, Detective B1, that's another case solved. Yes, Detective B2, the Detective Bananas have done it again. Ah, uh, there's just one problem, Detective B1. What's that, Detective B2? Well, now that our fruit salad is at the Teddy's place, what happens if we get hungry in the night? Oh dear, that is a problem. Huh? Bananas? What are you doing here? Oh, sorry Morgan. We just got a bit hungry. That's all. Oh, bananas. Would you mind if I had some too? Of course not, Morgan. Mmm, thanks. What's going on? We thought the fruit salad was supposed to be for Morgan. Uh, we're sorry, Teddies. It looked so delicious. We just couldn't resist coming over to have some too. Oh, bananas. <laughs> <laughs> Better see it so we can believe it. <gasps> oh, Teddy's! Teddy's! Good morning, Rat! It's amazing! What's amazing? Oh, come to my shop and look for yourselves! Let's go look! <laughs> what is it, Rat? What's so amazing? A couple of weeks ago, I planted a honey cake. Huh? Why would you do that, Rat? So I can grow a honey cake tree. <gasps> a honey cake tree? So whenever I want a honey cake, I just go and pick one, fresh from the tree. I picked all these this morning. Pajama-rific! Where's 
Where's the tree? Can we see it? Do you really, really want to see my honey cake tree? Yes, please. We really do. Then follow me. Behold, a honey cake tree. Huh? That's a honey cake tree? It's just a stick and a picture of a honey cake. <laughs> oh, don't you know what today is? No. no. It's April Fool's Day, and you are all April Fools. <laughs> oh, a trick! We always forget April Fool's Day. I'm a rat, I'm a rat, I'm a clever, clever rat. Doopy, doopy, doom, boom, boom. It's so easy to make April Fools out of you all. I really am very good at it. Yeah, well, we could make an April Fool of you, rat. What? Trick the king of tricks. Never. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B2? I think I am, B1. It's, it's trick, trick time. time! Follow us, teddies. They think they can trick me. Ha! They haven't got a chance. I'm going to find out what their trick is before they get a chance to play it. Uh, hello there. A lovely day, isn't it? Any news? We've been talking, Rat. We think you're right. Uh, remind me what I'm right about. We couldn't make an April Fool out of you. We could never out-trick you. Uh, true. But you must be going to do something, even a little tiny trick. No, nope. Nothing at all, Rat. Bye, bye Rat! Uh, uh, yes, uh, uh, bye then. Amazing. I never thought they'd give up so easily. Or have they? Sometimes I say I won't play a trick, but that's exactly when I do play a trick. What if the bananas and teddies are doing that? <laughs> no, 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 no. They're not that clever. <laughs> but maybe they are doing that. That's it. They want me to think they're not playing a trick. And then they'll play their trick. Well, they can't trick me. I'll find out what their trick is, and I'll be ready for it. Oh, they're coming. So is everything ready, Bananas? Oh! Everything's ready, Lulu. I can't wait. And what about Rat? Rat won't be expecting it. We'll see you later, Bananas. Bye, Bye teddies. teddies. So, everything's ready, hey? And they think I won't be expecting it. But I will, because I'll find out what those bananas are up to. Bananas, nice to see you. We've got something to tell you. Then come inside. Now, let's see what those bananas are doing. Cheese. A big piece of cheese. How could that be part of a trick? Unless... Of course! It's a piece of rubber cheese. They'll get me to take a bite. Then everyone laughs and says, April Fool. As if I'll fall for that old one. <laughs> oh! This is going to be fun, B2. So they think it will be lots of fun to trick me. Well, they better think again. This rat is going to get super tricky. It's time for a disguise. Where to now, B2? To see Bernard, B1. <laughs> the bananas didn't spot me at all. Now let's see what they're going to tell Bernard. Ah, bananas. Good morning to you. Good morning to you, Bernard. We've come with an invitation. Come in and tell me all about it. So, they're inviting Bernard to be part of the trick. 
I'll soon find out what that's all about. Flowers? What sort of a trick uses flowers? Of course, it's one of those trick flowers. I go to smell it and get squirted with water. <laughs> but how does that fit in with Charlie's rubber cheese? Oh, no! Uh, 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 oh. So, will you join us, Bernard? I'll be there, Bananas. Jamarama, Bernard. Now for Rat, B2. We'll head straight for his shop, B1. Now for Rat, they say. Are they going to play the trick on me now? I must get to my shop before they do. Oh, oh I made it before the bananas. So they're going to trick me. But I'm the king of tricks. I'll trick them first. A bucket of custard. Oh, what a delicious trick. When the bananas walk in the door, the bucket will tip. Custard, plop! Oh, rat! Oh, uh, come in, bananas. Huh? We're having a big lunch, rat. And we want you to be there. Huh? Uh, lunch? And we'll have lots of honey cakes. Oh, honey cakes? Uh, but you can't do that. Uh, I've already played a honey cake trick. We told you. We're not going to play a trick on you. We just want you to come to lunch. Well, I'm not one to say no to lunch. And there's no trick. No, no trick. trick. Well, very well, then. I'll be there. pajama -rific. I don't believe it. There must be a trick. What have they been doing all day? And why didn't my custard trick work? Oh, I see. It needs a good stir. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. Cheese and whiskers. <laughs> All right, I give in. I surrender. Rat? What have you done to yourself, poor boy? Sit down, Rat. Tell us what happened. If you're going to make me an April Fool, please trick me now. We're not going to trick you, Rat. Isn't saying you're not going to play a trick part of the trick? No. There's no trick. No trick. But, Bananas, why were you going around the village talking to everyone? We were inviting everyone to our lunch. Well, what about the tricky rubber cheese you gave the Bananas, Charlie? Rubber cheese? <laughs> it's real cheese, Rat. <laughs> it is real cheese. But you're squirting flour, Bernard. That was definitely a trick. They're real flowers. <laughs> oh, they are real flowers. So, there really is no trick. The only trick here... ...is the trick you played on yourself. By thinking there was a trick. When there wasn't. Oh, I tricked myself. I am an April Fool. You did trick yourself, Rat. And that's how it should be. Uh, why bananas? The only person who could trick the rat in the hat is you, Rat. The, the king, king of tricks. Long live the king of tricks. Hooray! Oh, <laughs> bananas. <laughs> Can you hear that, B1? Hear what, B2? That tinkling sound. Listen. That's funny. It stopped. Maybe it was in your head, B2. I don't think so, B1. There 
it is again. It's coming from Rat's shop. Let's go and see what it is. Hello, Rat. Oh, uh, hello, Bananas. Please don't stop the music, Rat. That's why we came in, to find out what was making it. It's this little music box. See? Ooh, a, a music, music box. Uh, what's a music box do, Rat? Open the lid and find out. Oh, there's a tiny dancer, B1. It's beautiful, Rat. And it'd make a perfect gift for someone, don't you think? Yes, it would. It's the perfect gift for Amy. She loves dancing. And she'd love this music box. We'll buy it, Rat. Oh, a wise decision, Bananas. Very wise. Oh, hello, Bananas. Hello, Amy. We've got a surprise for you. Ta-da! It's beautiful, Bananas. But what is it? Open the lid, Amy. It's the music box. Do you like it? I love it. Lulu, Morgan, come and see what the Bananas gave me. Look. Ooh. Oh dear, it stopped working, Bananas. Don't worry, Amy. It just needs winding up again. Rat showed us how. Oh, is it supposed to do that, B1? Uh, not sure, B2. Let's check. Amy, we'll fix it. We'll have it working again in no time, Amy. You'll see. <laughs> Oof. Uh, after you, B1. Uh, after you, B2. Thank you. Right, B1. That's all our tools ready. Now, how do we take this music box apart, B2? The screwdriver. It's always good for jobs like these. Good thinking, B2. See? At least we got the music box apart, B1. Right, B2. Now all we have to do is put it back together again so it works. <sighs> Easy. We'll have this job finished in no time. <laughs> Phew. So, let's see if it works, B2. Does it sound a bit fast to you, B1? Uh, maybe a little bit fast, B2. <laughs> Quick, catch the ballerina! Oof! I think we'd better start again, B1. I really hope it's fixed this time, B1. So do I, B2. Here goes. Look, she's dancing, B1. We fixed it, B2. Hooray! Hooray! Wait a minute, B1. Listen. I can't hear anything, B2. There's no music. The music box isn't making music anymore. Oh, dear. Knock, knock. Anybody home? Oh, no. It's Amy. What are we going to do? Oh, there you are, Bananas. Oh, hello, Amy. <laughs> How nice to see you. I just came to see if the music box was fixed. Oh, um, now where is that music box, B1? Um, I can't quite remember, B2. Well, isn't that it behind you, Bananas? Oh, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Silly Bananas. <laughs> so is it all fixed now? Well, uh, well, very nearly, Amy. We just need to do some, uh... Final tweaks. Why don't we bring it round to your place when it's ready? 
Are you sure? I don't mind waiting. There's no need. We're happy to deliver it, aren't we, B1? More than happy, B2. Oh. All right, then. Bye, bananas. Bye, Amy. What are we going to do, B1? We can't give Amy a music box that doesn't play any music. But everything else works, B2. If only there was some way we could just add music to it. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. It's Musical Bananas time! I hope this works, B1. Bananas! You brought the music box! Here it is, Amy. Oh, oh I'm so excited! But there's just one thing. What, Bananas? Well, we had to change the music a bit. Change the music? Just a little change. You'll see. OK, well, here goes. Ready, B1. Ready, B2. <sighs> so, what do you think? Well, the music is different. We're sorry, Amy. But I like it even better than before. You do? Thank you so much, Bananas. It's perfect. That's a job well done, B1. And now I'm going to show Morgan and Lulu just how well you fixed it. Oh, uh, there's no need for that. We didn't fix it that well. Oh, yes, you did. What do we do now, B1? We have to follow her, B2. Look, Teddies, the bananas fixed my music box. Does it work? I'll show you. Isn't it lovely? Yes, but the music sounds different. A lot different. I like it like that. Ooh. Bananas? So have you finished playing with the music box now, Amy? You wouldn't want to wear it out after all. But Bananas, I want to show it to everyone in Cuddlestown. Everyone? Yes, everyone. Bye. Do you think we should go with her, B1? We have to, B2. <laughs> I can't see Amy anywhere, B1. <laughs> she's over there, B2. And she's going to show Charlie. Quick! <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a beautiful music box, Amy. And wait till you hear it. <laughs> hmm, that's odd. The music doesn't sound like it's coming from the box at all. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. Aha! The bananas are playing the music. Bananas? But why? We're sorry, Amy. We didn't mean to trick you, but we couldn't get the music part of the music box to work. Oh, Bananas, why didn't you just tell me you couldn't fix it? I know. We should have. Will you forgive us? Of course. Oh, I'm just sad that the music box is still broken, that's all. Oh, dear. Cheer up, Bananas. I think I know how to make this music box play music again. You do? Come into the workshop and bring your musical instruments. I'll get it. Hello, Amy. We brought back your music box. And this time it's really fixed, thanks to Charlie. But what about the music? It's better than ever. <gasps> That's the bananas playing the music. How did you do that? Well, I made a recording of the bananas playing. And then he put it inside the box. And we made those little bananas so the dancer would have some friends to play with. Do you like it, Amy? I love it. Thanks, bananas and Charlie. No, no problem, problem, Amy. This is the best. 
best music box in the whole world. 